To it, uh, everyone don't want to know a life story, but I, I actually got uh, COVID, um, COVID nineteen, and uh, it hospitalised me. I was in uh, I was in hospital for about three uh, three days, I think I was, um, and I ended up with pneumonia um, in both my lungs. But I'm on the road to recovery. It's it's given me a bit of uh, if I'm finding it difficult to concentrate and stuff. But anyway, I thought I'll um, I'll push myself back into stuff um, and. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'm, I'm on the road to recovery anyway, we're, we're all good. So, um, we've had another sponsor come on board for uh, 2022. I'll, I'll, this is the main focus point of this video. I want to give my, my first sort of impressions on uh, the products. Um, but, you, you, well, you will have guessed from the, probably from the, from the thumbnail anyway. But, um, I'll go over uh, a couple of update, updates at the end as well with what's going on with the car. Um, if you, I'll put my social media links down at the bottom. But if you if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and whatnot, you'll know you'll know the score of what's going on anyway. But um, yeah, I'll I'll add them anyway. If you if you're not following me, yeah, that's where I do most updates. You know, daily. Um, well, I've not been at the minute because I've been ill. But yeah. So anyway, we've had uh, for this seat well. well it was for 2021, um, but now going into 2022, because we kind of had the issues that we've had uh, towards the back end of this uh, last season. Um, but we've had uh, Killer B Motorsport over in the States uh, come on board. Um, me and Nick, uh, the owner, we've been um, talking for a few months now. And anyway, Nick's um, come on board to, for me to get some some uh, real well, for, for me to get some real well data um, on some of his products. So he, he's got a lot of his own data out there already, obviously, but it's just, um, it's nice to get it on, on the car over here um, and show some of you guys, you know, um, some of the products. So I'll go over what we've, um, what, what we've been sent. It's, it's actually the new, uh, they do three types of, um, of, of baffled sump uh, oil control um, sort of packages. They do uh, the traditional welded um, original design, um, and then they do like a sort of, a, a, I can't remember what they call it. It's like the ultimate um, baffled sump sort of thing, which is uh, similar in design to this, but it's not as much baffling internally. Um, and then they do various different types of oil control, um, you know, oil pickup pipes and um, oil control valves that will go into that. So I'll... I'll get these unboxed. You don't want to watch me unboxing these, but I'll get these unboxed and then I'll come back in a minute. Right, here we are. Um, I've got everything um, unboxed now. I've, I've flipped the camera on to, uh, you can't see me as much, but nobody wants to see me anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I've brought the pan in a little bit, you know, so it's a little bit more detailed on the, uh, on, on the bits. But um, yeah, so we've got, I'll put up on the screen, uh, Nick's been kind enough to send me um, some schematics, you know, uh, some CAD drawings, um, showing the difference between the, the new, this is the new redesigned um, oil pickup, the, the ultimate oil pickup, so to speak, uh, for the EJ, EJ25 um, engine. They do, an, uh, just a, one thing to point to note, they do do an EJ20 uh, oil pickup as well, but um, it's, it's designed for the flat bottom sump, you know, the, the like original WRX style sump. Whereas the this sump is obviously designed, um, a bit of oil on there. The, uh, this sump is obviously designed um, around the EJ25 or the twin scroll um, pickup, you know, we, we recognize as being the twin scroll sump, you know, um, in, the, in the UK. Um, but yeah. I'll put a picture up of the of the two um, of the two uh, drawings, you know, so you can see the difference between the um, between the original 
uh, Ultimate oil pickup and then the new redesigned high flow one. Um, it's basically, you'll see it on screen now, but uh, this has been um, enlarged. I'm not, I've not looked at the drawings um, myself yet, but you'll see the measurements, the dimensions are on the drawings. I'm not actually sure if the diameter of this pipe is uh, slightly larger. I'll um, I'll throw a note on the on the bottom, but you'll see on the on the screen, you know, if it is. But uh, yeah, really sturdy, um, nice piece of kit um, from First Impressions. The uh, it's very thick compared to I don't have a standard one. I should really have a standard pickup. I'll put a picture in the screen, but um, the standard pickups just got one of these mounting points. Uh, it's it's very weak, and also um, I've trial fitted this on the engine, uh, and it fits perfectly. Uh, whereas your, st your standard oil pickups, they always need like some sort of like a little bit of bending or um, modifying, you know, and it just, it doesn't fill you with a lot of faith um, either that you're stressing the braze uh, at the top or you're putting the pickup in the wrong position, especially if you have one of them castellated um, rubber extensions on, you know, that, like a lot are doing um, now. But yeah, uh, really nice bit of kit. Um, all nicely, uh, nicely TIG welded on all the joints, you can see. Um, nicely, nice uh, TIG welded, and then you've got the uh, the original style uh, mesh pickup there, you know, to prevent any uh, debris going up through the pickup. Um, included because I got this, uh, I got this all together. You can buy this as a package altogether. Um, you know, the windage tray, the sump, and the pickup. But I'm not sure um, what you get. I'm oh, sorry. You'll you'll get a new uh, rubber O-ring, um, and you can use this in the standard EJ25 sump um, as it is there, just like that with the hardware, you know, with the normal bolts. But when you're using it in the, um, in the, you know, the aftermarket, the, uh, the Killer B uh, sumps, any of the range of their sumps, um, you actually get like a little extension piece with, a, again, with another O-ring uh, on, on the bottom there. And that goes on, you know, straight on the, on the, on there. Um, and then you have two, a little extensions, you know, pieces which go again on there, and then you get the, you get all the hardware, you know, the the the, the bolts for the little, little um, Allen head bolts, you know, that go uh, on the two on the on the two mounting points there, you know, the, the bolts here. I'll put a picture in, but they bolt to the uh, underside um, of the uh, of the engine. Uh, there's the the corresponding bolts for the. Um, Sorry, for the oil pickup as well, you know, for the uh, pickup pipe where it bolts onto the uh, pickup in the bottom of the engine. Um, you get a nice uh, set of stainless bolts, you know, to actually bolt the um, sump all the way around, you know, bolt it onto the engine, um, which is which is nice. They're, um, they're not designed to be used, it's not designed to be used with the uh, t traditional, you know, the OEM um, little, the, the, the nuts that have the little uh, spring, spring washers on. Um, you, you many use these have got uh, like a, a spread apart on the on the face of the uh, of the nut, but yeah, you get them with it. You also get a couple of um, O rings, uh, which I, I'm not actually sure, but I know the factory ones are orange. I don't know if they're a different dimension, um, but it's nice that you get a couple of couple of O rings you know, for the dipstick tube. Um, you get them with it there, uh, and you also get um, a copper sealing washer um, for the factory sump bung. You can use the factory sump bung, M20 by 1.5, I believe it is. Um, I'll correct that in the bottom if, if I've got it wrong. But uh, yeah, it, rather than using the traditional like sort of, it's like an aluminium crush washer with, I don't know if it has some sort of gas in, uh, in, the, in the OEM um, sump washer, but you're supposed to use a copper sealing washer with this. Um, with this sump, they specifically um, state that on the uh, on the site. But yeah, you get one of them with it. Um, next thing I'll go on to before we go on to the sump is the. Th this has been around for for quite some years now. Um, it's it's the windage tray which goes the oh, pickup goes uh, on top of it like that. Uh, like, like that, I believe. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see you when we get it on the engine. I've forgotten, but. Um, Again, a nice simple design, but removes the OEM um, windage tray, which is pretty uh, hopeless. Um, but 
basically uh, it directs the oil coming off the crankshaft back into the um, into the sump where it needs to be um, and it also well the, the name of it gives it away so it's, it's a windage tray so it removes uh, windage from the uh, from the crankshaft stops uh, um, like oil you know vapors and oil splashing um, coming up um, all as well and slowing the uh, uh, causing a uh, drag on the uh, on the crankshaft but yeah nicely uh, nicely TIG welded again um, stainless steel and then with a the, uh, with a killer B motorsport um, logo on there but yeah um, not much not much else to say about that it's quite uh, a simple design thing but effective so yeah uh, obligatory stickers we can put them on the uh, on the car and um, you get a nice um, little schematic sort of instructions, you know, um, explaining how to bolt the pickup pipe on and also um, the torque, you know, uh, what to torque the, the sump pumps and stuff to. Um, so yeah, this is this is available on, on the website as well if you uh, if you lose or anything. Um, so we'll go on to the we'll go on to the sump next. Um, I said we were going to go on the oil control valve, but uh, we'll 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 have a look at this. So we've got. It's very thick wall. Um, I believe it's it's uh, it's heat treated cast uh, aluminium alloy, um, but it's very very thick wall. Um, I'd, I'd, I'll put a, a, a little uh, cut to now, but um, on Killer Bee's, uh Instagram, I'm sure it's on their Instagram or their YouTube. They actually show um, it's not on on this model. It's the what is the super? It's the stock model, not the Super G one. But they show uh, a four by four actually driving over the sump, you know, to show how strong they are, um, which is always is always good, uh, it's good to know. But basically this is their new Super G, uh, they're calling it, Super G um, baffled sump. So it's like the ultimate in their wet sump, you know, design uh, for heavy track use, you know, um, sort of applications. So versus their old one, I'll put a picture up uh, in the screen of the traditional design um, it's very similar uh, in design, you know, um, the, the the baffling internally, but this one's got more of a like a, a complete down to the bottom sort of uh, baffle, as you can see, uh, both sides, um, and it incorporates the um, like rubber flappers, you know, which allow oil oil to pass through um, into this area where the oil pickup, you know, would would sit. Um, it has a little cutouts there, can you can see, you know, for it. it's all been designed uh, nicely, but that'll sit there like that. So you can see where the oil pickup's located. Um, I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit lower, it is, it's about there. So um, basically we're allowing oil to come back in through these uh, rubbers, but it doesn't allow oil to, to pass out. So you've always got oil in where you need it uh, around the oil pickup. Um, so yeah, just really, uh, really nice the the, the quality um, and machining work. You know, in the welding, um, just really, uh, really spot on. The other thing, this is the. Uh, I hope I'm right in saying this. I'm uh, questioning myself now, but this is the um, oil breather. You know, that goes to the uh, back of the block where the um, sort of factory oil catch. Not an oil catch can, but it's like a as a as a plate with a couple of baffles on it, um, and then it goes out to your PCV system, you know, like to your, um, your crankcase um, breather sort of system. So in the bottom here, I can't really show, um, I can't really uh, get, get a camera in to, to see it, but we've got, a, we've got a pipe that comes all the way down and it has like um, a V cut out the bottom of it and it's welded, you know, that like a, it's capped off in the, in the, in the end there. So that prevents actual oil um you know fluid from coming back up through the breather system um like it does on the on the oem sort of setup that's when you get a lot of uh sort of um issues with oil coming back up through the pcv system into your oil catch can and you know filling your oil catch can but um that's where the this next bit that i'm going to describe you know will, um come into play but um yeah that's that's a nicely uh, designed bit you know, to eliminate that uh, issue but yeah um, we've got everything's um, 
taken into uh, account. You know, even they've even got machined this into the uh, well, designed it into the casting, should I say? You know, so the uh, so you've got clearance to to get your um, to get your bolts in and your Allen key, you know, to get your bolts in or whatever. Um, the other thing is it's got uh, it's got two ports on the bottom, so you can have one of the like uh, you can have your your factory sump bomb M twenty uh, by it looks like one point five. Mm, I think it is, but and you can also have your uh, half inch MPT. Uh, you can have your fast drain plug, or you can have oil temp sensor, you know, adapter. Um, I, I don't know. You could even go as far as having um, turbo oil return, you know, for a front mount to set up, or um, maybe a bit lower. But yeah, uh, basically anything you want just opens up the options there. Uh, you don't you, you don't actually get these. Um, because this one's your factory one, and then um, this one, you, you you know, you have to buy separately. But yeah, you don't get it with the um, with with the sump. You, you you can get that additionally, you know, from the um, from Killaby's website or uh, anywhere you know, anywhere else. But they they look a nicely designed bit of kit, you know, if you look on um, on Killaby's website. But yeah, uh, it also the, another thing to note about this, it holds six quarts of oil. So you, with, with your twin scroll or your EJ25, you know, uh, dipstick, it'll read full um, with six quarts of oil. So it's around, I think, 40% more capacity than, um, I think it's 40% more capacity than, than the OEM sump, which is always good. I always run mine, um, my sump over the max level anyway. Um, but obviously your OEM sumps are not designed to be run over max level. So this is specifically designed to be run over um, at, at that capacity. So you've just got more oil in there to um, better help the uh, surge issues of the sewer engine. But yeah, um, that's it. It's, uh, I've had one thing to note. Um, this is American uh, and the American market is predominantly EJ25s, um, some newer EJ20 blocks, but uh, because this is the new Super G um, sump design, uh, the, the baffling comes above the surface, as you can see, uh, of the of the um, sump, whereas on the traditional one, uh, the baffling doesn't come above that surface, it's, it's further, you know, further down. So basically, on I'll put pictures up in the screen now, but... Um, on the old like version one two three, you know, classic Subaru EJ twenty, um, which is what I run, the closed deck blocks, um, they're getting few and far between now, but a lot of builds are done uh, in the UK, you know, using that block. Um the the design of the underneath of the block is reinforced more so in certain areas, you know, than um you can see in the pictures now I'll put an EJ twenty five um and I'll put an EJ twenty uh closed deck block. But you'll see um, what I've had to do is I've just had to, you can see just this area here. Um, it came out all the way to the to the edge, you know, um, when I when, when I got it. I'll put some pictures up and sh to show you as well in the screen now. Um, but spoke to Nick. Um, obviously, um, it, it's, it's a rare block that I'm using. Um, and it, it's not something that you really come across, you know, that much, especially in America um, with them not... They didn't even get any of those cars with, with the, um, that engine, I don't believe. But um, I've just had to, I just drilled a little hole and then I've just dremeled, you know, this just just only a tiny little bit, you know, uh, of material away. But you'll see where it was, um, in fact, he probably could have bent it, to be honest, but um, it, it's it's worth it's worth uh, noting if you buy the, the, the Super G sump now, yeah, I've just if if you was wondering, you know, if you was looking at yours thinking, well, mine looks different to that. Um, it's just because I've just had to cut that little bit of material just for my specific application. Um, but yeah, it's worth uh, just worth mentioning. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's everything on the uh, with regards to the sump. Um, who who thought we could talk this long about uh, about <laughs> about a sump? But anyway, the uh, the other thing that uh, Nick sent me is. This is a nice, nice bit of kit actually. So it's a, it's an oil control valve and it bolts, um, I'll put a picture on the screen of where it bolts. It bolts a rather annoyingly where my fuel pressure regulator bolts now. I made like a nice little bracket for it, but we'll have to move that out of the way and, and put this in. Um, so 
you can get it for like the blob eye fitment and for the newer uh, impressor fitment i think the bracket's just a little bit different it's got a nice little stainless bracket but basically what this does is um you'll plumb your um oil breather pipes to each side i think they're are they three quarter mpt or i'm not sure uh, what 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 threads they are but uh, I'll put it in the screen because I've got it in my watch list on eBay actually. You know, some um, AN adapters to whatever thread fitting that is. But basically, you'll plumb from each cylinder head um, into each side. So, th this bolt's where the fuel pressure regulator is, where the pitch stop mount is, like that. Um, so, you've got your pipe coming from your uh, oil breather on your cylinder head uh, on this side, straight into the side there, and then same on this side going into there. And then this port here will go out to your. Um, where you would have put these, you know, to an oil catch can or to an air oil separator, um, which Killer Deep, Killer Bee do a really nice one as well. But I've got an existing one, so um, I, I didn't need that. But um, basically, it's got two little uh, balls. Um, you can hear it there like that. Two little balls on springs um, that go up on each side. So when you go around, um, when you go around a high G. Or, or like anything, I think I think they activate about one. I think it's one G. So when you're going around a right hand or a left hand corner, the ball will float up, and then it will block. Um, it will block off this uh, oil breather. So when you have uh, on Subaru, you have issues with the oil passing up from the cylinder head. Um, do you know, obviously, you go around a, a right hand corner like that, all the oil flows to one cylinder head, and then the oil comes up through your um, oil breather pipes. And then into your catch can, you fill your catch can, the, the catch can spews out all over the track and typical Subaru. Um, so what this does is when you're going around those corners and, th and that situation happens, what I've just explained, the oil that was coming up, you know, would traditionally be coming up into your oil catch can, that ball has come up and blocked the passageway. So it's blocked um, crankcase pressures and also blocked the oil from coming up. But you've still got crankcase pressures being able, you know, to be taken from the passenger head and from the um, centre point, you know, the centre crank breather um, point um, where this piece comes to. Um, so, so it's not causing any adverse effects to the engine um, in terms of, you know, generating positive crank crankcase pressures. But it's just blocking the oil from coming up in the moments when the oil would be coming up. Um, but yeah, nice. Uh, Really, really nice, simple, but um, a nice bit of kit and designed. Uh, the design's taken from, um, I think from from Nick's background, he's um, ex um, Air Force. So it, uh, I think the d design was taken from uh, aerobatics. You know, um, aerobatics sort of planes um, that you use. Um, you know, wet sump piston engines um, and prop planes and stuff. Obviously, when they're going upside down and high high g-forces they need a um a, a system that's going to stop oil coming through the previous systems and stuff so that's where the designs um come from uh but yeah it's uh i don't know if you blow through, well i presume if you yeah if you blow through it does work it, it's blocked yeah Nice, uh, nice back. Yeah, anyway, but yeah. So we're gonna be. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna need to order the uh, couple of adapters, you know, to adapt that to AN, um, and then go to my catch cam and uh, whatnot. But yeah. So that's the product range, anyway. Um, that's that's what uh, Nick's been kind enough to send me. Um, so we're gonna get that fitted on the car. Um, I'll do another little. I'm gonna do a video um, later on this week, uh, and it'll show me fitting this, but. With regards to updates on the car, um, if you will have seen on my social media yesterday, I've been I've been trying to get myself to the unit a bit, you know, um, for an hour or so a day, you know, I still get so I've, I've still been getting out of breath and stuff, but um, yeah, I've, I've I've done a bit, um, and the plan for the car in terms of setup for next next year, um, we're gonna we're we're going with a front mount turbo setup. Um, if you've, well, there's quite a lot happened actually um, since the last video. Uh, we've we're, we've had Pulsar come on board um, and support us, Pulsar Turbos, uh, and we're going to be running one of their um, 
G35 um, turbos, G35 900. Um, and yeah, well, one minute, I'll uh, this camera anyway. That's a bit there. Um, yeah, so uh, turbo wise, Pulse Turbos come on board. We're going to be uh, running one of their G35 900 uh, with a 0.83 housing on it, uh, V band in, V band out. Um, yeah, uh, and also one of their external wastegates, 45mm, 44mm, 45mm, can't remember, 45mm, um, external wastegates. Uh, and I'll put some pictures up there, uh, pictures in the screen. I've not got it here, I did have it here this morning, but um, I've actually m m fabricated up a uh, uh, front mount turbo setup. I've actually just cut the old GT spec headers out. Um, and Andy Hughes, shout out to Andy Hughes, um, he's lent me his TIG welder, uh, ACDC TIG, TIG welder. So I've been uh, <laughs> learning. Um, I'll, I'll, I've, I've not done TIG welding before, um, or very limited amounts of it. So I've been learning how to TIG weld and fabricate my own uh, front mount turbo setup. So it doesn't look the prettiest, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's strong, you know, there's plenty of penetration there. So yeah, we've, we've got uh, front mount turbo going on. Um, I posted pictures of it uh, online last night and um, just asking for, for feedback really on the, on tracks, uh, track subies. Um, it's an American uh, site on Facebook and every, everyone comes out then, you know, like it comes out of the woodwork um, real in a positive way. Um, but basically the, I've been researching for months, you know, to find out information on front mount turbo setups. And there's not really, um, there's not a huge amount out there, you know, especially in the UK, there's maybe only a couple or so I thought. Um, anyway, post it on there. I know everyone's, uh, oh, this is my setup, this is my setup. You want to do this, you want to do this. And then I've been chatting to, um, been chatting to uh, Matt Baker, um, MB Developments, you know, the uh, breaker here in the UK. Didn't, didn't realise at all. I, I know he's built some serious uh, cars over the years, but didn't realize he's done loads of front mount setups um and we, we were speaking last night you know going into detail about the various issues um involved with with doing it all uh heat management mainly um and space so it's <laughs> it's opened up a whole new spectrum of issues now possible issues uh i, I was just going to move the radiator further forward and uh, move the intercooler further, further forward maybe out of the bumper a little bit but which is not ideal but that was the plan, um, but now um, I think I'm going to actually put the radiator in the boot. Um, Matt has successfully done one um, using no no additional uh, electric pumps. You know, just using the factory um, two pot uh, JDM pump. You know, uh, the one run off the cam belt, and it pumped successfully to the rear of the car. Uh, and he had no cooling issues, so that's uh, quite positive to hear. But um, all of this will be, um, you know, unveiling uh, and all the issues that go alongside it uh, over the coming weeks and months. But we've got um, we've got until May the first of May. Um, we've got a lot to do, not as much as last year, but we've got um, all the turbo, you know, to uh, set up. Uh, we've got another fuel pump to add, um, you know, a bit of adaption to the fuel system. Um, and then obviously the standard stuff, engine to put back in and all that, that's easy, uh, straightforward stuff, but we've got the engine to run in. Um, and then we've got, um, all of the calibration to do now, uh, you know, obviously I'm doing that all myself. So but from the last video as well, which was good, we had quite a, decent bit of feedback from quite a lot of people as far out as Australia, you know, um, emailing me and speaking to me. Um, Andy Forrest messaging me a bit actually with a bit of a uh, few tips and advice here and there. So um, kind of goes against what I was saying about the tuning scene um, being, you know, hush, hush, a um, bit of like uh, black black magic. But uh, the, some of the guys have, have reached out to me, you know, and uh, uh, offered, um, Quite a bit of advice uh, very helpful as well like um so yeah it's, uh, it's one positive thing from anyway but yeah um i won't ramble on anymore because I, I can talk all day about cars and, uh, and about this project but um 
I'll try and keep the videos a bit short and sweet, you know, um, update videos as we're going along. But I know quite a lot of people are, are interested, you know, to see um, what's, you know, what's been going on. And also people are interested to see this front mount turbo set up and um, fabrication and uh, whatnot. So I'll do, I'll, I'll keep, try and keep up. Um, as I say, I'm not doing m much in the unit, but just a bit every day, but I'll try and keep up uh, with the videos. Um, and then you'll all be looking forward to the calibration. Do you know what I mean? Going through the uh, the calibrations, doing part two, three, four, five, you know, of that side of things. So, um, yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be it for today's video, I think. Uh, I think it's long enough. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching and turn the, uh, I don't want to be that guy, but turn the bell notifications on, you know, the, the thing and subscribe if you haven't uh, to you know, keep up to date with uh, with how things are going on. But yeah, take it easy.